I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing tomorrow during that nationwide emergency systems test. What's going on behind me is something I'll talk about uh, at the end of this video, but the primary uh, part of this video is I want to talk about what my plans are, and I'd love to hear what your plans are. Let me know in the comment below what you plan on doing. Uh, there are a lot of different uh, ideas, theories, uh, prophecies. <laughs> floating around online right now. Uh, some of them are like really crazy and really, really far out there. Doesn't mean they're not true, but you know, <laughs> I don't know what I put the likelihood at at some of these crazy theories. Uh, and then there's like the completely vanilla ones that are uh, pretty much just like, well, whatever the, whatever the government says is true, that's what's true, and there's you know there's no, nothing behind anything. Uh, and then there's a bunch of theories that are kind of in the middle, and that's where I tend to kind of uh, uh, fall myself. Uh, what I'm planning on doing tomorrow is uh, taking a wonderful, relaxing day off of cell phones. I'm just going to have the phone off and not only off uh, because the network can still access phones uh, even if they're turned off because you know you, you can't really remove batteries from most phones nowadays. Uh, so I'm going to have it off and in a Faraday cage and it'll also be kind of in addition to being a relaxing day off of cell phones, it'll also be a test to see if I'm able to kind of block those types of signals from reaching the phone. Now, why do I want to do that? Well, primarily, it's just kind of an experiment. Uh, I'm, I'm curious if I will be able to do that. I presume I'm going to. I'm, I've got Faraday cages. I just want to kind of see if they work for that. Uh, that doesn't mean that it proves a Faraday cage could work for like an electromagnetic pulse. The, the energy levels, you know, between cell phone signals and um, you know, EMPs is vastly different, but, uh, you know, it'd be an interesting experiment. And uh, from what I understand, there's a, a potential that uh, what is uh, going to be being sent out to people tomorrow uh, could be installing things onto people's phone in order to, you know, even if you're just kind of like, you know, just, yeah, whatever the government says, you know, that, 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 that's what's true. You know, even if you come from that perspective, you know, they might be, uh, you know, kind of installing stuff on there to streamline the process of trying to, you know, contact people during an emergency. Uh, and I'd be perfectly happy to not have that stuff on my phone. You know, just the more stuff that gets put onto the phone that's running in the background, you know, these kind of shadow programs, even if it's not like, you know, what you would call malware, it's just extra stuff, extra bulk. Uh, so if I can avoid getting that and, uh, you know, having a screen pop up that I have to accept something and, um, uh, you know, allow something to uh, install itself on the phone, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to avoid doing that. I think a lot of the far-fetched stuff, well, certainly, like, the, I heard this theory, uh, it was, Survival Living was talking about it, not that he believed it, he was ridiculing this idea, too. Uh, that there's this idea that uh, during the tests, they're going to, you know, activate things that had been, like, injected into people, and uh, it's going to turn people into zombies. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of completely unsubstantiated, uh, far-out theories that are floating around out there. And a lot of these theories, I just wonder, like, if people really thought that was true, like, and, and that was going to happen, like, why would the government feel like it would need to wait and do it, like, all at once? Wouldn't it be better to, like, kind of covertly do it in different areas and different times and kind of do it in a... I don't know. Where do people get these... Uh, it, it's from movies and video games, I guess, they get a lot of these ideas. But it, 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 whenever I hear them, I'm kind of like, well, you know, if the government wanted to achieve that, there are so many more simple and straightforward ways of doing it. Besides, I mean... In terms of mind control, it's like most people already already have that operating, <laughs> you know, just with marketing and advertising and and, and whatnot and groupthink. Uh, you know, they don't need you know they don't need all these extra measures to control people's minds because people are already there. Um, you know, so there are all these far out theories and whatever. But I'm I'm perfectly happy to just kind of opt out of the whole thing and you know uh, test uh, you know my systems here. And I know I'm going to be hearing from a million and a half people uh, you know about what happened with their phones uh, and, and whatever. Uh, so you know. That's what I plan on doing tomorrow. Uh, what do you guys plan on doing? Are you gonna uh, gonna try to avoid it? You know, do, doing the Faraday uh, bag thing, just trying to turn your phone off, see if that works. You know, are you excited? You want to see it? Gonna, oh, it's another fighter jet going over. No, not a fighter jet this time. Just a regular air, airplane. There've been a lot of fighter jets going over today. That's not unusual in, in my area. I know on like YouTube uh, channels, you should be like, "There's fighter jets going going over my house." Uh, around here, that's kind of normal. <laughs> um, uh, or, you know, you, you, you're curious what it's going to be like and you definitely want to receive that message and kind of be part of this big, you know, event that's going on. Uh, you, 
am, am I worried about being left out of the event? Not really, uh, because you know I've seen what government uh, issuance of information is like in emergency situations, uh, and uh, you know I'm not going to say that people have a nefarious intent, uh, intent where like they're intentionally pumping out misinformation. But you just look at like kind of the Nash, the last kind of national emergency that we went through, uh, which was COVID. And, uh, you know, at the beginning of that, it was uh, the government issuing information saying, don't worry, it's not airborne. Uh, and, it, uh, you know, a after that, it was like, uh, you know, once it was clear that that was incorrect, then they were, you know, they ran out of N95 masks. Uh, so they were, you know, telling the public, don't worry, you don't need a real respirator. You can just put any old piece of garbage cloth over your face and, that, and, that, and that's totally fine. And then there was a whole like, you know, don't worry, it's a hundred percent effective and don't worry, it's a hundred percent safe. I think we're, I think we're still, I think that is still the official word that it's a hundred percent safe. I, I lose track of like, you know, what's like the real reality and what's like uh, the group think reality at any uh, given point in time. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's what the government tends to do is that, you know, not a hundred percent of what they say is a lie, but a hundred percent of what they say is designed to try to keep people calm. Uh, and, and that's not a bad thing because when people get, uh, you know, uh, excited and crazy and scared, then there's all sorts of other negative things that happen uh, as, as fallout from that. So it's, it's a noble, it's a noble goal to try to keep people calm. I personally, if I were in charge, I would want, I would, I would like to try to do that by telling people the truth, but package it in a way that will try to help them to be calm. And plus, I, you know, for all the years prior, help them to get prepared so that, you know, they wouldn't feel like they had to, you know, go crazy when, uh, you know, there's some kind of an emergency situation. That's, that's just me, though. They're like, start with the truth, stick to the truth, and, you know, try to, you know, help people uh, to not freak out. Uh, the government and I don't see eye to eye to, uh, on that. Um, either they're uh, really ignorant and naive, or they you know, intentionally, you know, send out information that's probably untrue uh, because their primary goal is to keep people calm. And again, good goal, uh, but I would like to see it done with more truth. So I don't really worry about uh, you know opting out or not being in this uh, you know emergency alert system because the alerts that are going to be issued over that system are going to be the same thing that we always kind of see. Just keep people calm. Uh, and uh, you know some of the you know the FEMA material that you you know that you see related to a lot of like you know like nuclear war or whatnot. It's not particularly really helpful information. It's just sort of like you know go back to your house you know, cross your fingers and, uh, you know, wait and listen for us to figure out what the hell we're going to tell you to do and then do whatever we, we tell you to do. You know, as a prepper, I've already got kind of better plans than that. So, you know, I don't really need, uh, I don't really need that information coming in. You know, I've got other streams of information. And again, I would want to listen to that because not 100% of what is issued by the government is uh, fake or, you know, false. Uh, you know, there's plenty of true information that comes out of the government. Uh, but from my perspective, just it's kind of mixed with a lot of that, like keep people calm, kind of uh, white lies they call it. Uh, that um, you know, it doesn't really bother me if I don't have instant access to that kind of like mixed gray kind of um, material. So that's what I plan on doing. What do you plan on doing? Let me know in the comments below what's going on back here cooking dinner uh, because uh, this time of year it is. Uh, we lose sun on our solar voltaic systems kind of earlier with the sun going down early, but it's still warm out, so I don't want to be running fires in the house. So I use these guys to kind of uh, help me with uh, dinner towards the end of the day. Looks like we lost sun on it while I was chit-chatting though. So I guess I got to get back here, finish up dinner, and get ready for tomorrow because I think it'll be kind of an exciting day. I'm going to keep tabs online of seeing uh, what's going on with people. And uh, my phone's going to be a Faraday cage. We'll see if it works. I'll let you know later on if it works. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, here's another video that you might enjoy. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see listed on the screen. They help to support the work that I do here over at Patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and have your name added to that list, the link's below.